What is happening, guys? Cowboy here. Welcome back. As always, thanks to Sony for the copy. So, it looks like we're actually going somewhere new. We're heading out west. But, I'm curious what... Oh, that's a different mission. Okay. Never mind. I'm not curious anymore. So, anyway, let's head on out see what we can find out. I still think Sarah's alive. I think, um... Especially after we got that little thing about, uh, you know, her plants, how she was like, no, no, they can't be used for military usage. We're, we're finding new ways to use them, blah, blah, blah. I would bet that they loophole that shit and that this whole Nero has, like, they're basically using her research in some way and writing it off as, uh, like, disaster relief instead of military. And they're, like, making her work in a lab somewhere. Whoa. So, that's that's the storyline I'm most interested in. Boozer's storyline, we know that's going to end poorly. Um, Lisa and Sarah, those are the those are the two storylines that are keeping me hooked on this game right now. I wish you could beep the horn on the uh, the motorcycle to like lure zombies and have a whole train of them following you. That'd be badass. All right, I'm here. Jesus, don't... Don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find anything out about Sarah, about the woman that I put on your chopper? Nothing. Nothing? Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. It's gonna take some time, okay? I'm risking my neck here. If anyone the, the back at HQ finds out, the, the, those guys with the guns over there, they'll follow orders the without question. You're all on the same team, O'Brien. Just looks that way. Look, I don't have time to explain it right now, but... It's why I need your help. My help? D look, just take it. It's a, it's a wavelength recorder and some GPS trackers. I just need you to... T We're out of time. Look, I... Shit, I don't even know your name. Deacon, Deacon St. John. Well, look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name... Uh, Sarah? Then, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Let's go! Keep the radio close. I'll contact you in a couple of minutes. You don't even know my name? Oh, you're gonna know it before we're done, O'Brien. Keep the radio close. It's been right here the whole time, you son of a bitch. He gets so Christ, angsty. How wait now? You're gonna know my fucking name. You're gonna know the feel of my, my fingers wrapping around your neck, O'Brien. Yeah, I'm here. Now, what's this all about? What do you want? All right, I put a blocker on this channel. It's secure. What do you want? I've sent a series of coordinates to your radio. I need you to go to those locations. What? Why? Just listen to me. There are several Nero task groups doing work in the field. I need to know what they're doing. Then why don't you ask them? I can't. Look, I said it's a long story, and I don't have time to get into it right now. Let's just say the men above me, way above me, are running a lot of field missions, all separate from each other. Nobody knows what anyone else is doing. So the world ends and you assholes carry on like nothing's changed. Where? I sent you the coordinates. Okay, Jesus, O'Brien. All right, I will see what I can do. Just get to as many of them as you can. There are active LZs, landing sites, sample drop-off locations. Yeah, yeah, I got it, but you better have something for me, O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, I got it too. Hold on. Yep, away we go, I suppose. Drifter. O'Brien! Yeah, I'm here. What do you, uh... One of our helos is heading towards your position now. You have to follow it. Follow it? Why? Just, just go! Don't lose it! Jesus, O'Brien! 
Okay, all right. What's going on, O'Brien? Why am I out here in the shit chasing choppers down for you? <laughs> the destination's classified. I'm locked out of their files. So I can't give you the coordinates to their LZ. You have to follow them in. Jesus, don't you guys have uh, spy satellites? Shit like that? And not that I have access to, no. I told you I'm... Locked out. Yeah, I heard you. Don't lose them. I think Come I get. No, can't let him get too far ahead. I think I get plot gas on missions Let's like this. O'Brien, well, they're landing. Good. I have their coordinates now via your radio. You better go in on foot. On foot? Remember, you can't let them see you. O'Brien, well, I'm here. What do you want me to do? Each of these research units have a science guide. Like me. Guarded by a bunch of goons. I need you to get close to the research. The wavelength recorder is set to the channel we use to record data and record everything they're doing. Okay, so you want me to sneak into an LZ filled with heavily armed Kevlar wearing soldiers who shoot on sight so that you can spy on some asshole wearing a pocket protector? Pocket protector? Really? I have a fucking PhD, asshole. Yeah, which stands for piled high and deep. Do you still have the tracking devices I gave you? Well, I was gonna sell them, but most of us don't have access to shit like, you know, satellites. Place one of them on their human. Almost all of these filed missions include stops that aren't on the books. I'm gonna find out where they're going next. O'Brien. You don't need to ask. Jeez, I'm already looking into what records we have about where evacuees were taken. O'Brien out. It's just gotta be good. What are you guys doing out here? I gotta get close to the researcher. <laughs> Checking the traps at site 14 Alpha. I've confirmed a large male subject. Who's there? Confirmed albinism mutation. Subject has an expected lack of skin pigmentation and reddish eyes. The muscle mass appears to be 40% greater than normal infected subjects. What was it you called them? Bleachers. Well, they're real. Well, this is only the third subject we've been able to study. As noted, their strength and ability to absorb damage make them extremely dangerous to approach. We've noted in other field reports that over a thousand have been spotted in this area. Error is causing the mutation. It's spread rapidly. Okay, now I just gotta... Should be able to take this. What the hell, O'Brien? What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. Your boys were carving out the guts of a freak while it was still alive. They're not my boys. Hey, what do you care? Aren't you a... What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? Don't you kill the infected for money or whatever shit you barter with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Did you get my data? Yeah. I got your data. No. 
Okay, I'm uploading it now. I'll be in touch. O'Brien. Oh. Brian. O'Brien. Oh, God damn it, he did it again. O'Brien, well, talk to me. Jesus, I think you better be in touch, O'Brien. What about the original spot I was looking for? Nope, ambush camp. Focus cocktail craft recipe. Camp. That's Copeland. Oh, that's a infestation. That's an ambush camp. Um, camp. Bunch of mean sons of bitches, aren't you? I mean, we're it's Iron Mike XP, and we're right here. Might as well. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Not today, cop. Cop, 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 cop. Shut the hell up. Cop, 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 cop. I can't let any of them get out of here alive. A bunch of rapists and murderers. We're just having a little, little scuffle. There's the latch or hatch. Oh, fuck. Someone's here. Anything? Come on. Coming. Oh, God damn it. Come on. Oh, sons of bitches. Oh, shit. The fuck. These dudes, they had a, a wolf fighting for them? God damn, dude. Nope, nope, not what I wanted.
saw something. You at That's what I thought next time. Killed himself. Set up an ambush. Don't pick on the wrong guy. Don't fuck with Deacon St. John. Just gotta find it. Cause now I'm gonna take your bullets and take your pants and then you'll be a pantsless zombie walking around and your dick's gonna decay and rot off. And what's your wife gonna think when she sees you like that, you ugly prick? Like, it's not just me, right? Deacon is, like, overly edgy every time he does one of these games. Am I, am I the only one seeing this? Alright, um... This is where we threw the thing at, so... right there. Bunker, yes. Here it is. Right. What do we have on this map? A map? Notes? Yeah. Okay. Locked Superior Club, huh? Got some papers, not some crafting. Yeah. Wonder how it compares. I mean, I feel like a baseball club with a uh, oh shit stations and damn up here. That's a real big infestation. Um. But, you know, I feel like if I'm, you know, I, I don't know. I feel like a baseball bat that has a giant buzzsaw through it is going to do a lot more damage than a baseball bat that just has a, you know, some cogs on it. I mean, I guess you could argue one's more for blunt, one's more for, you know, axe-like, but I, I think a buzz axe baseball bat would hurt a hell of a lot more. I mean, if you get hit in the head with both, you're probably gonna die. But, uh, you know, one hitting your arm might break it, the other hitting your arm would give a deep enough wound that your arm probably isn't gonna come back. It's, it's, it's gone. You lose your arm. Anyway, let's make our way over there. Um, 19 minutes. Damn, this episode flew by. O'Brien's mission took no time at all. I want to go do Lisa's mission next. Since hers is out by a camp, I'm thinking I'll shoot over here. I think I can I can speed run these nests real fast. I think I can do that. Speed run some nests, get that out of the way. When I say speed run, I mean quite literally. I'm not even worried about nest residue. I'm just gonna um, run on up into them, all top, all top, all top, all top, and then dip on out. Which will be a good test to see just how long I can, uh, you know, just out treat. I know. See, the tree, I have more trouble with the trees than I do with the damn zombies, I'd say. It doesn't look too bad. It should work. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, we're next to the first one. Another infestation zone. Looks like a good spot to save. Let's go get this one first. Out of kerosene. That's where nice. is it? God damn it. That's got to be close. Alright, so I can light it and then just straight up leave. Looks like that's fine. I will ride my bike up to the... Well, well. Probably just go. Just keep a nice pace. I need to look out for for gas and shit. I don't think I can destroy them with, uh, with grenades. Ow. Hell of a way to go. Eat me alive. Uh, let's try it. There's another nest. This is a small horde. No, oh, not a small horde. It's a large horde. Oh my god, am I gonna die? Oh, that was close. Okay. Okay. All right. This see, this is what I'm talking about. This is the this is the level of intensity I want to experience. I need more explosive stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is there any more explodey things here? Do I have any throwables? No. Um... I need, I need materials. As much as I'd like to finish killing all of you, that is not happening without more explosives. I mean, in theory, I could sit here and shoot, shoot them all down, but God knows that's not exactly a, uh, a viable strategy. Don't worry, I'll be back for you, boys. 
I don't know if that was actually a horde. That may have just been uh, the volume of freakers living at that nest. But see, that's cool. Like, why? I mean, a, ma a majority of the time, the shit I experience is nothing at that level of intensity. It's like, throw a Molotov at the nest, throw a Molotov at some freakers. And you just, you know, you don't even think about it. That was actually, that was fucking cool. That was like, I need to get the fuck out of here. I am going to be overwhelmed. More of that, less Monday. Anyway, uh, looking at the map, though, since we're moving on out here, and I'm probably going to get my cheeks clapped because there's more nests and I have no Molotovs, but you do what you got to do. So let's move on out there. We'll find Lisa, and I'll catch you guys with that next time.